Okay, I'm going to quickly show you how to log into your UK iCloud account on Apple TV outside the UK. Uh, so if you don't have a UK iCloud account, if you click on the video in the top right, that shows you how to do it. That's set in the US, however, just follow the exact same steps and change the United States to the United Kingdom. So once you've done that and you have an account, it's time to go to your Apple TV and go to settings. Uh, go down to users and accounts and then you'll want to go add new user. Now if you have an iPhone or an iPad you can do it using that device. I'm just going to do it manually. So I'm going to just fill that in now and show you what it looks like once it's done. Okay so now I've created an account. What I like to do is I actually change the name of the account on my Apple TV device. You don't have to do this, but I change it to UK. Uh, so to do that, you just open your account. You're still in users and accounts and settings. Go into the account and then just come down to edit username for Apple TV and you can change it to whatever you want. This isn't a must, but it's just kind of helpful to keep it um, all nice and aligned. Now I'm just going to quickly show you what this allows you to do. So I'm going to stay on my New Zealand account and I'm going to go back to the home page and on to the App Store. So if I click on the App Store and I now look for something like BBC iPlayer, which is a streaming service that's only available in the UK, I'm not going to be able to find it. See, nothing comes up. Some random BBC Toronto, what is that? Never heard of that. Anyway, so what I'll do is I'll show you what happens if I change to my now UK account. Uh, to quick change accounts, hold the uh, screen button on your remote and that's going to take you up to the top right. If you go across once, you can then change. See, there's my UK account. I'm going to connect to that. Now if I go to the App Store and I search for BBC, bear with me. It's now available to download. So I would click on that and click download. I've already downloaded it, hence why it says open. Now interestingly enough, once you've downloaded it, you can actually change to any of your accounts and the, uh, the app will still be available on the home page. See, I'm back on my New Zealand account and I can still see BBC iPlayer right there. So that's how you put your uh, UK iCloud account on Apple TV. Now to watch UK streaming services, you're going to need a VPN, but I'll explain that in another video.